Welcome to the first video of Bacteriology series. This is the most awaited video series. Assalamu alaikum everyone. I hope you all are doing well. Today we are going to talk about bacteriology and the bacteria in detail. But before starting the lecture, I'd like to tell you guys that these videos are meant for educational purposes. Things and treatments may change with time. If I get wrong or miss anything, your input is always welcomed in the comments section. Grab a pen and a notepad and let's get started. Bacteriology. It has got two words in it. Number one, bacteria, which refers to bacteria and then the logi, which means to study. So bacteriology is a study of bacteria. Bacteriology is a science that deals with bacteria and their relations to medicine, industry and agriculture. Bacteriology is a branch of microbiology. Lecture outline. I have introduced you guys to the bacteriology. Now we're going to talk about bacteria, its shape and size, classification and structure a little bit. But I will discuss the structure in detail in the next video. And lastly, we'll review it. Bacteria. Bacteria are also called as microbes. If you're wondering what are called microbes, so I've got a video on introduction to microbiology just in the top right corner. I have explained in that video what are microbes, so you can also check that one. Bacteria are prokaryotic cells because they are unicellular. They play important role in disease and health. You might be thinking how they are going to play a role in health because they are a part of human microbiota or we can also call it microbiome or normal flora. Bacteria have less complex structure as compared to eukaryotes. Bacteria like certain membrane-bound organelles such as nucleus, mitochondria, endoplasmic reticulum, the ER, and Golgi complex. The shape of a bacterium is determined by its rigid cell wall. Classification. Bacteria are classified by shape into three basic groups. Number one, cocci, but in some places it is also pronounced as cocci. Number two, bacilli. Number three, spirochetes, but it is also pronounced as spirochetes in some places, but you should choose the one you like. Number four, pleomorphic. The cocci are round as you can see in the middle. The bacilli are rods, as you can see on the left side, and the spirochetes are spiral shaped, as you can see on the right side. Some bacteria are variable in shape and are said to be pleomorphic, heterogeneous shape. For example, consider a bacteria that has got the spiral shape, the cocci shape, and the bacilli shape, like it has round rods, and spiral shaped bacteria in it. So we will term that bacteria as pleomorphic shaped bacteria. In addition to the characteristic shapes of bacteria, the arrangement is also very important. Arrangement of bacteria is determined by the orientation and the degree of attachment of bacteria at the time of cell division. For example, certain cocci occur in pairs, so they are termed as diplococci while some in chains they are termed as streptococci and others in grape-like clusters so they are termed as staphylococci. As in this picture you can see the arrangement of cocci, bacilli and spiral. Um, this is a single round shape so it is termed as coccus. If it exists, if the cocci exist in pairs so it will be termed as diplococci. If four cocci occur together so it will be termed as tetrad. If eight or more um, exist together so it is termed as sarcina. And um, as you can see, the cluster is termed as staphylococci and the chain is called as streptococci. If you look at the arrangement of the bacilli, so single is called as bacillus. If it occurs as uh, if it occurs in pairs, so it will be termed as diplobacilli. If it is in the chain, so it will be termed as streptobacilli. And if it is just like that, so it is palisades bacteria. And if the cocci and bacilli both are uh, of uh, both shapes occur together, so it will be termed as Cocobacilli. Arrangement of spirals. Single is called spirochetes. This is called a spirilla um, because it is helical shaped or corkscrew form. And then we've got vibrio. It is um, just like this yellow one. Size. Bacteria range in size from about 0.2 to 5 micrometers. Mycoplasma is the smallest bacteria. 
and the longest bacteria rods are the size of some yeasts and human red blood cells. Uh, for example, Borrella uh, size is about 7 micrometers. Structure. Bacteria have got the following structures. Cell wall, cell membrane or plasma membrane, cytoplasm, capsule, glycocalyx, flagella, pili, and fimbriae, and at the end, bacterial spores. This tail-like structure, it's not a tail, it is actually the bacterial flagellum. This red covering is the capsule and the hair-like structure on the capsule are called as pili and inside the capsule this yellow structure is a cell wall then this green structure is the plasma membrane the capsule flagellum and pili occur outside the cell wall so these are termed as the structures outside the cell wall and the structure that exist inside the cell wall include plasma membrane cytoplasm this light blue matrix, this nucleoid containing the circular DNA, these plasmids, and certain ribosomes. All right, as a quick recap, bacteriology is the study of bacteria. Bacteria is a prokaryotic cell. It differs from eukaryotes because it lacks certain organelles, like nucleus, mitochondria, endoplasmic reticulum, and Golgi complex. Bacteria are classified on the basis of shape into three basic groups, cocci, bacilli, spirochetes, but if the shape vary, it is termed as pleomorphic. Arrangement of the bacteria such as diplo, strapto, staphylo, and others occur for different bacteria like for cocci, bacilli, and spiral. Bacteria ranges in size from 0.2 to 5 micrometers. Bacteria have the following structures, cell wall, cell membrane or plasma membrane, cytoplasm, structures outside the cell wall are capsule, glycocalyx, flagella, pili, and fimbri. And another structure is bacterial spores that bacteria exist in this resistant form. Alright guys, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. You've learned something. Um, don't forget to leave your suggestions in the comments below and also do connect with me on my socials like I've got my Instagram, I've got my Twitter, I rarely upload blogs to check them out. Till next time, Assalamu Alaikum.